Hi Aquarius, this is Jeffrey, and I'm in the middle of the reading. Oh, this is Ripe Color. This is your three card reading for Halloween. The full moon, the blue moon, second full moon in a uh, month, the same month. And the sun just came out. I always do a different order and I do them by element. And so I'm well in and the sun just came out. So that's good. And let's get to it. Please like, subscribe, share, uh, bleh, press the button for notifications. And I do one-on-ones, all the information is below. And oh, very nice. See, the sun came out for a reason. All right. One, two, three. I have to say, so far, this is probably the most positive reading I've gotten. And you're, I think, my ninth sign already. All right. I always do a different order because I just do. You could be um, meeting or in touch with someone from your past that you have um, very warm feelings towards. It could also be, I feel like it's a person, uh, you know, I, or you might meet somebody or be in touch with somebody. You don't have to meet them physically, not these days that maybe they're not from your past, but they, they give you a feeling of um, safety, of kindness, of uh, familiarity. And um, this could also involve um, money or business or um, you could have like a deja vu. Could be like a deja vu week. Um, and I, I feel like it, it could lead to some sort of security or stability or even money. And um, <laughs> you, know, you get the wish card. <laughs> you get the wish card. I, mean, I don't read upside down. I know some readers read upside down. I don't read upside down. It becomes too confusing, but it just doesn't call my name. I don't know. It just doesn't. It's like, hmm. um, but I remember a Tarot book that I bought a long time ago. I remember distinctly them saying, this is the card in the deck that you don't read upside down. So, you know, he's sated. He's sated. And um, he's fulfilled, and it's it's the wish granted. So maybe you're in touch with somebody from the past, and um, maybe you know you get in touch with somebody from the past and say, uh, "Will you give me um, a loan or the money you owe me?" And they they do. Or, yeah, it could really go like that. It could just go like that. Because there's a really warm, lovely feeling. This six, this six is a really weird little card, but it's really lovely. It's kind. I always feel kindness with this card. It's like, it, it's like the, um, yeah, children just... I remember, so I'll give you an example because I love to give examples. So I remember when I was about, I don't know, maybe, I wasn't even five. 
probably four. And I remember going out, it was the fall like now, but it was cold. And I was wearing my coat. You know how you could barely walk in your coat when you're a kid? And I don't know why I was alone, but I was alone on the street. And it's a, it's a different world that we live in now. And, um, you know, I, I'm not, I'm like right on the right on the edge of baby boomer. So there were a lot of kids in my neighborhood. I grew up in Brooklyn, and they were you know like every single house had one or two or three kids, and um, so there were tons and tons of kids around every single house, literally. And uh, so I remember going outside, and I remember I met a little girl who was my age, and she said hello, and I said hello. And she said, do you want to be friends? And I said, yes. <laughs> like, it was as simple as that. It wasn't like, what do you do for a living? You know, <laughs> there wasn't any of that. I said, yes. And I remember we went to her house. I, I didn't even ask my mother. It was kind of weird when I think about it. This is the memory I have. I don't know if it's true, but this is the, and I remember we went to her house and they had an enormous aquarium. I mean, when you're little, everything seems bigger. Even the refrigerator is like enormous, right? It was, a, it was a very big aquarium though. And it was fascinating because, you know, I had never really seen one before. And, you know, all the fish and all the weird looking fish, you know, different shapes and stuff. And, um, you know, we were friends for a long time. We were friends for a long time. And then things went sour, you know, probably 15 years later. Um, but it's like, oh, you want to be friends? Yeah, sure. You know, it was just that simple. It was like, and there's a sweetness to that. There's a, um, well, you're here and I'm here and like, let's play. Instead of, you know, like the way we live our lives as adults, which is like, oh, well, you're not my kind of people. And, you know, you're in a different socioeconomic background or you're from a different neighborhood or you speak a different language or you look different or, whatever it is, you know? When you're kids, it's sort of like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll be your friend, you know? So there's sort of this sweetness going on here and there's like this, you know, maybe that's the attitude to like maybe take on of um, let's be friends, you know? Maybe that's just the attitude we all need to take on. It's like, oh, yeah, okay. Let's be friends. I'll be your friend, you be my friend. Let's eat something. Let's play a game together. Let's, uh, oh, I have this thing, let's share it. You know, or, uh, you know, simple as that. Or you know how really sweet children, when, you know how like we all talk to children. I mean, it's not really the way it is. Like when they're very little, you go, hello. And, uh, you know, they offer you a potato chip, first thing. They don't ask. They just, you know, they're eating potato chips and it's like, it's sweet. So I feel like there's this real sweetness going on there. And um, I think, if, you know, I think that could be offered to you and I think you can offer that this week. And maybe that's what the, um, you know, and I think it also, you can take that attitude and that um, action, right? It's an action. It's not an attitude, it's an action um, into business. It's like, you know, like, oh, I wanna do business with you. And then, you know, they wanna do, and it's like this, oh yeah, we're, we're friends. I give you something, you give me something, we share something, maybe together we make something, right? So, and I feel like uh, it, it's gonna go swimmingly. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really a lovely, kind, gracious, um, kind of heartfelt, uh, almost sentimental, which is, I'm not really Mr. Sentimental, but that's how it feels. And it's nice. So enjoy it. So, you know, for Halloween, you should probably dress something
very ridiculous as a child, like, you know, SpongeBob or uh, Barney or Elmo. Or <laughs> That's the way it feels, you know, this isn't like a scary costume. This is like a fun costume. Okay, that's my take. Enjoy Halloween. Uh, enjoy the full moon. Enjoy the change of the seasons. And um, enjoy your wish coming true. So that's that. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Where's the button?